Hi, I'm Paman from Service Provider Team here at Cisco. In this video, I want to show you the new password recovery process for Cisco iOS XR that runs on Cisco 8000 and NCS 5500 platforms. Think some time back, if you lose your password, the only available way to restore access to the device was to re-image the router with either USB boot or an iPixie boot from an external server. This is a time-consuming process as it involves installing router software again from scratch and then loading the device configuration. Starting with iOS XR release 7.3.16 for Cisco 8000 series routers and 7.3.3 for NCS 5500 series routers, Cisco has introduced a new method for password recovery without the need to re-image the router. A new option called Cisco iOS XR Recovery has been added to the grub menu of the RP boot up to enable this password recovery procedure. There's one prerequisite though. The router must be configured with system recovery, which is a new command to enable this new recovery feature, and it's not enabled by default. Couple of caveats. The password recovery procedure can only be done from a console connection to the router. For devices with dual RPs, we need to bring both RP cards down to the BIOS grub menu. Then password recovery procedure must be done on each RP card one by one. This is a mandatory step for dual RP platforms, or it could lead to config and file inconsistency issues. Now let's get into it. Let's say this is our device and we don't know the login credentials. So the first step would be to bring the RP card down into BIOS grub menu. We can do this by either a power cycle of the device and pressing the escape key on the console as it boots up, or by physically reseating the RP and pressing the escape key during the boot up to enter the BIOS grub menu. In our case, we'll perform a power cycle of the router. Please note, if there are two RPs, both the RPs should be on the grub menu screen before we proceed to the next step. On the RP console, we need to select iOS XR recovery option from the grub menu and press enter. If you have a device with dual RPs, as soon as you see the initiating iOS XR system recovery message on the RP0 card console, switch to RP1 console and start the recovery process by selecting the iOS XR recovery option from the grub menu and pressing enter on the RP1 console. We should not wait for the RP0 card to reboot and read the prompt for new username, as this can cause the RP1 card to exit the BIOS grub menu and reload. Once the recovery is complete, the RP0 card will boot up as active and RP1 card will boot up as a standby. Both the RPs are rebooting now. As RP0 card completes booting up, will be presented with the prompt to create a new root user and password. Please create a new root username and password. Now we need to log into the device with the use of the new root username and password we just created. The password recovery procedure is now complete. The router is now booted up with a blank configuration and with the root username and password we just created. Please proceed with normal router configuration or load a configuration from a backup file. Any config backup stored in disk zero or hard disk may be lost as part of the password recovery procedure. Hence, we recommend saving the configuration on an external server. Please ensure that you see this message on RP console logs. If you have dual RPs, then we should see this log for both the RPs. This new password recovery procedure can be used to securely reset lost password in less than 10 minutes. Compare that to the previous procedure where USB or IPXE boot process used to take anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. Thank you for watching. For any further questions, please feel free to reach out to Cisco TAC.